Hi Dream Pioneers, this is Jennifer Claroscura coming to you from a very rainy and snowy New York day. So uh, excuse the noise in the background. So today I'm going to talk about one of my favorite subjects and that is astral projection. But not just astral projection, astral projection um, from lucid dreaming. So lucid dreaming as a springboard towards astral projection. A lot of people think that astral projection and lucid dreaming are separate, but they're not. I have found in my experiences that they're very much uh, interchangeable, or at least um, they overlap in some way. I don't have to astral project just from my sleeping consciousness or body. <laughs> I can astral project from my dreams. Uh, and not just lucid dreams, by the way, sometimes half lucid dreams are just, uh, you know, dream consciousness. I just want to let everybody know that uh, in the end you find your own mix of technique, but I'm just going to share mine in the case that it allows you to um, discover your own in some way. So this is what I do in my dream when I go lucid. The whole point behind this is that you understand that you can transition from one energy body to another or from one conscious state of awareness to another. It's, it's more like a shift. Uh, it is not, it's, it's, a, it's more of an abstract, fluid term rather than, um, you know, a change of outfit and boom, you're there. It's, it's a little different. Uh, and most of the time it just takes a conscious effort of some sort. So I'm going to give examples of dreams that I've had that I have turned into astral projections. Dream number one, I am dreaming that I am walking around normally and then I become lucid all of a sudden. And I have the desire to astral project. It just happened naturally. I never knew that this could happen but when you're in a dream sometimes you have a different kind of consciousness it's like you just know things I have the desire to astral project all of a sudden from my dream and in my dream reasoning which is very different from my waking reality well it used to be now it's a little more mixed in together but in my dream I come up with an idea of how to trigger my energy body and then um, transition into an astral projection. The way I envisioned it in my dream was that um, water could do it. So I went to the top of a cliff or I created a cliff. I'm not sure, you know, lucid dreams you're creating and at the same time the environment seems to be responding to you. So to my desire the environment responded with this scenario. So I'm walking to the edge of the cliff and there's ocean below and uh, I decide at that moment that I'm going to jump dive in. Um, of course, in waking dream, I, would, I don't think I would ever jump off a cliff and into the water, but I'm lucid in my dream and I know that this is somehow the transition towards it, or at least one of the options. So I dive into the water and I close my eyes on impact. And something about the moment that I visualize the impact, because really I'm not looking at it, and the feeling of going underwater um, with along with my intent that that is going to trigger my energy body because you know water is a whole different fluid kind of uh, movement and I have felt in astral projections that sometimes it does feel like you're swimming in water at least in my personal experience as soon as I start swimming with my eyes closed and I trigger my energy body with my intent and with the feeling of the water, I suddenly astral project. And how do I know that I am astral projecting? Because I can feel it in my body when I'm asleep, where I am asleep simultaneous to the dream. I feel suddenly there's a moment of connection of now no longer in the lucid dream, triggered my energy body and I can now see I am coming out of my body uh, from my room, from my bedroom. I, it, it transitions into that. Sometimes it transitions straight from the dream, but sometimes I go back to the consciousness of being in my room just for a second before 
I open my eyes in the astral. Um, <clears throat> that is one way, that, is the, that was the first time that I had instinctively gone out of body from a dream. And now the second dream that followed after that, and then I, I kind of stuck to the second one, even though it seems a little more brutal, but <laughs> the one that I'm about to tell you. So dream number two, I go lucid. And this time, I think once again, a little quicker this time, it was almost like, boom, lucid. Okay, I start running in my dream. Then I'm like, what am I running on? I am running in a tall building and there's this window and everything just seems to be responding to, to my creation or I don't know, to my desire or to my intent. And there's a window and I know it's a dream. So I know I decide to close my eyes and dive through the window. Now the window in my closed eye visualization crashes and the glass, the sound, everything triggers my energy body. And I immediately transition into the astral realm. I wouldn't even normally skydive or anything like that. But, you know, in my dream, I think uh, I just... It's instinct. It's something. And so I um, crash through the window and it triggered my energy body and I'm outside now. And now I'm outside of my body. Well, I don't like to call things outside of the body. But anyway, I am in an astral projection. Um, but it's so important to stay conscious the whole time that you're transitioning somehow. I don't know what you are going to use to transition. For me, the jumping into water and then the next dream where it was through the glass, that worked for me. Uh, after that, I would just have to jump in the air. It doesn't matter. I would just run, jump, close my eyes, and transition immediately. And if you have had an astral projection, then you know the feeling. It's the feeling in an astral realm. Then you know when you are out of body. You know, um, even though lucid dreaming and astral projections are combined, somehow they are united, they are one in a sense, um, or they are one. Uh, our perception somehow separates them all the time. And uh, I know what one feels like, and I know what the other one feels like. Sometimes I've even transitioned into an astral projection without going lucid. I'm just in my dream wanting to astral project in the dream. I'm not even lucid. And I already have gone through the motions of transitioning so many times that in my dream I just do. So I wake up in the astral projection. So I guess that would be like a lucid, I become lucid in the out of body, not in the dream. In the dream, I just had the desire within the dream. Um, and then in my out of body, that's when I became lucid. So. Now, what is the technique behind that? The real one for me is a consciousness to be conscious of the intent, um, be, I was determined. I was really determined and I trusted my instinct in the dream. A lot of times we forget that our unconscious mind or super conscious mind is active, but it's mainly active in the dream where the waking mind has kind of slept, fallen asleep. I mean, waking mind by your daily reality mind. And so in the dream, it is easier to access uh, this knowledge. Uh, the practice is to just know. So be confident in your lucid dream. Just know that when you become lucid, you're going to know exactly what to do. And something just uh, go, go without thinking too much. Don't stop and think. Um, just let it come out real quick. You know those moments in dreams where you just figure something out and it's like, whoa, uh, how did I know this? You just knew. And that's what uh, the art of knowing in the dream, the art of knowing that you hold that knowledge and that in the dream you have this access to the unconscious or super conscious realms within yourself a little quicker than you would in your normal waking reality. So that's it. Try it. Um, I'm not saying try what I tried. But try accessing that knowledge in your lucid dream or that instinct. Try to just let go. Let go in, of, into the 
um, moment, into the present moment of your dream. Uh, embrace it. Just have the desire, have the intent. Close your eyes. Closing the eyes in the dream helps to transition. Uh, you don't have to, but it helps. But always with during the closed eye, keep seeing the dream in your closed eye kind of way. So continue it, you know, whatever transition you're doing. The energy body, what triggers your energy body? Um, how do you transition? Because everything, all these dimensions are really overlapping. They're not separate. And, you know, Dream Pioneers is all about bridging these realities. So in order to first bridge it, you have to try it or at least think about it, question it um, in the dream, in, the, in your astral projection, in your waking reality. And uh, most of all, um, have fun, but uh, intent. Practice a really strong desire and intent for, uh, and trust, trust yourself, trust your inner knowledge. Uh, trust that you know what to do, that your unconscious, superconscious knows exactly what to do. And um, be able to be in the back seat of or at least if you if you find yourself in a lucid dream and you're acting too much from the place of who you are when you're in your daily waking reality, um, practice being in the backseat and letting something else take over from yourself, like something deep. Uh, open that door. That door will open many, many, many other doors.